Hey, I'm Alex, this is Tara, and watch Marvel make us into heroes. I'm Alex Van Brooklyn, and I'm a retired United States Marine. I'm a active real estate investor right now, and this is my lazy baby Tara, my service dog that I've been blessed with through America's Vet Dogs. So I decided to, to join the Marine Corps. In February of 99, I just felt like I belonged, and I just stuck around. So 2014 is when I, I guess I first had the realization kind of forced at me from big Marine Corps saying, hey, uh, we think you may have some issues uh, with some of your past events. So I spent the, the bulk of 2015 in every kind of different therapy you could think of. And part of that was at Walter Reed, they had a service dog program. I went up to Long Island in, I want say August of 2016. Trained with her for two weeks, and uh, yeah, now she's here with me every day. So some of the tasks that she's trained with and that she's helped me out with is nightmare interruption. She's actually trained to come over, have a lead that's on my, my bed sheet, and if I'm stirring at nighttime and I'm, I'm displaying visual signs of, of having a nightmare, she'll come over and actually pull my bed sheet off. She has given me the ability for me to be who I want and need to be. She has allowed me to get back out into society anytime my mind will wander because my mind still wanders and I still find myself in, in uh, not the best mental state but having her here is that 100% grounding tool that brings me back to the here and now keeps me in the present she really is the superhero I remember the old Hulk movies with Lou Ferrigno that I would say is honestly probably one of my first introductions to Marvel it was just so cool you know a bodybuilder go out there and all of a sudden he turns into this huge green monster just absolutely uncontrolled I just thought that was amazing not being able to control that monster when it comes out um, yeah I could I can uh, I can definitely <laughs> relate to that so I love Hulk now because it's I've watched the progression of over the last you know 10 years now you're going from just no control at all where you turn into the hulk to just like yeah he has full control and he is taking that monster and said you know what sure i might be a monster but i can control it and to be able to have control of that is um it's powerful the superhero that i would love to be if i could be a superhero is not going to be running around in a cape with armor and a, and a sword maybe a small maybe a small k-bar but um there are heroes that walk amongst us every day. Average Joes, they don't get headlines, they don't get the name blasted on billboards. And that's why I think staying as the, the average Joe walking around is important for me. I could see her like, I don't know, being attached to me on the leash and turning into something that grounds me. If I could channel her energy through me to help other folks to be like, stop thinking this negative crap and you know, replace it with this and have them change themselves because for every one person, again, especially combat veterans, they have a gift to give back to society. What I would love to be able to do is, is help folks realize what gift that they have. Super cool. Yeah, I love the eyes. <laughs> that is great. Look at Tara. Look at you. Well, I wish I was in that kind of shape. <laughs> I, I didn't want to be a superhero wearing a cape. I wanted a superhero that was, that was just, just me. I, I think you, you really captured the hidden beast inside as well. Like literally just the, the way that the artist captured the, the eyes and the, the anger in the eyes. And you could see Tara just kind of sucking that right out of me. As I could see myself in my other hand and my right hand in the picture, be able to reach out to somebody else and pull that negativity through me and just helping other people the way that she's helped me. Yeah, I, I think they really, they really captured that. So I think that's awesome. And I got my K-Bar. <laughs> <laughs>